guys, it's Jessie here and welcome today to a new pick a card reading. Now guys, in this pick a card reading, we're going to be focusing upon your next relationship. So as you can see, I prepared four pals for that, starting with group number one, two, three, and four. So what I want to ask from you is just to take a moment to get into that Zen your energy um, and just ask the question like, what is my next relationship going to be like? And who is going to be with a spirit guidance? Can you <laughs> give me like some um, clarity about that next relationship? So if you need more time for that, then just hit the pause button. And when you've done that, just open your eyes and pick the pal or pals that you resonate with you the most. When you've done that, go down below because I'll leave the timestamp to your reading in the comment box or in the description box. So guys, the last thing I want to say is to remember this is a general reading. So of course, not everything is going to resonate with, with you, but only think the things that resonate with you. And most of all, just enjoy your readings and keep following your own heart. Hi there, group number one. So you are here because you're drawn to this beautiful gemstone and to the first spell. So let's see what these cards hold for your next relationship. Okay, so group number one, these are the cards that I have for you. So we're starting here with the Ten of Wands. We've got the star here, the Three of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Discs. So there is a lot, a lot going on here. Um, so let me start here with the Ten of Wands. So I'm giving like Maybe the person that you're going to meet will be coming out of a relationship that who has taken like a toll on this person. I feel like with the 10 of one, this person was someone who really put maybe all of his efforts into his next, uh, to his previous relationship, but it's just wasn't like enough. But that means like this person is like super, super loyal and is always like putting a lot of effort into his or her relationship. And I feel like this person was the one in the last relationship that kind of like, uh, was the one putting the most effort, um, and wanted the relationship to work and was like, I feel like this person was like really loyal and really wanted things to work out, but for some reason, somehow it didn't work out. So, um, I feel like this person that you're going to meet is, um, I don't feel like this applies or going to apply to your relationship, but it's about his past or her past that, you know, this person has been through a lot. This person has maybe, you know, had to suffer a lot or had to carry like all the burden of the relationship or experience a lot of stress relating to this person's previous relationship. But rest assured guys, because this person, because you might think now, okay, I don't want someone who's like tired or, you know, who has been like through a lot. Maybe that's like what's going in your mind, but Rest assured, we have here the stars and you see like this, this lady, this man baiting. And that's like the state where this person is going to be at when this person meets you. So this person is so down ready for something new, something that he or she can put like all his effort into. So I feel like this person is very much ready for a fresh breath of air. I feel like this person wants something, um, you know, wants something genuine, wants something real. They want to go for something. They want to go for someone. They want to build a life. They just want to commit to someone. And I feel like you will find that within each other. Then we have the Three of Swords. And I feel, um, you know, because this person has been like through a lot, of course your past is going to kind of like leave some tiny bits of emotion. I don't feel like this person is going to be like into his ex or anything, but I feel like this person will still experience the emotional maybe baggage of his or her last relationship because you carry everything with you, right? So um, I feel like this person will still have to deal with a little bit, just a little bit of emotional baggage from the last relationship, okay? Then we have the three of wands here. And with the three of wands, I really feel like this person is all about commitment and is really serious. And it might be like, maybe this person was betrayed in the past or something, but I feel like uh, fidelity is like a huge thing for this person. This person is super, super loyal and is super honest about everything. 
And I feel like this person wants that back. This person expects his life partner to be honest, to be open about everything. And I feel like that's maybe going to be a breath of fresh air for you as well, because I feel maybe you have been looking for that. Um, and this person is really going to commit and go like 110% for you guys. So I feel like you guys are going to meet each other like within that area. I feel like there's going to be a huge understanding or a huge, um, how do you say that, that you recognize a trade within someone that you're like, okay, hey, I was like waiting so long for this to happen. And I thought like no one had this. And then you meet this person and it just instantly click. And you guys are like, wow, we're searching like for the same thing. And even though maybe you, you or this person might have like baggage, it's still, it's like going to be like amazing because you guys are just what you're looking for. So then we have like the two of wands and really two of wands, that's just like what I feel like you guys are going to be like so meant for each other, so ready for a union. I feel like you guys have been searching maybe for each other and now you've just like found each other. It's like the perfect match. And I also feel like with the planning, it could be like you're both wanting like a long term relationship, like something for the future and that's something that is like just for here right now and i feel like you guys under, will understand that on a deeper level it might be that you guys are at a place in your life that you both are that you've kind of, you guys kind of like seen it all have like experienced it all and you guys are now both really sure of what you guys want that's what i mean with like that emotional baggage sometimes it's good like because because of all the things that we experience or that we have been through, we're kind of like narrowing down our list and becoming like more aware of what we truly are looking for in a partner. And I feel like when you meet each other, you guys will both be like in that stage where you guys already know what you guys want. And there's not going to be like a lot of BS around. You guys are going to be like straight up, okay, you know, this is like what I'm searching for. And I feel like you both are going to notice that from the, you know, straight on, like from the beginning, you guys are going to know that you both want like something serious. You both want something that's like long term. Um, So that's like what I'm getting like with that planning. It's like you guys are so, so narrowed down everything that you guys want in a partner. And then you meet this someone that is like just perfect, just in, in every single way. And that perfection can be like differently for each and every one of you guys, because we all have like different things that we want to check up our, uh, check out of our list. So I feel like this is going to be a real relief like a game changer in the relationship you guys are going to be like okay thank god i felt like you know you weren't out there and then here you are and i feel like this this could possibly even be like a twin flame or a soulmate relationship where you guys finally meet that person that totally understands you guys that you can talk like about hours with someone and you guys gonna like have that deeper and deeper oh my god i'm gonna like so many messages when i'm like talking but um like you guys can feel each other hear each other and you guys connect like on a deeper level i'm i'm feeling like maybe from like early on you guys are going to be talking about the family the you know the happy life you know the house you guys want to build or something like that i feel like this is going to be a really serious relationship from the start you guys are like right there for each other and because you feel so strongly about each other I feel like you guys are going to be very, very open and honest about everything that you want from each other. So it's going to be like a real dive into the deepness, um, moving forth relationship. And then we have the nine of wands. And when the nine of wands, I feel like guys, that you're both ready to put in the effort for this relationship. This is like so beautiful because as I said, I feel like both of you guys have baggage, maybe one more than the other, but I feel like both of you guys are really committed into putting effort because you both realize what it takes for a relationship to work. I feel like you both have, you know, your experiences and everything and you guys know that, you know, it's not always going to be like fun. We have, we're going to have like the ups and downs, but I feel like both of you are very, very realistic about this. It's like, 
you guys are you guys are sort of like matured in this um so i can feel like you both are so ready to take it like to the next level and you guys both know that maybe you both have like a little bit of sacrifices to to be made you know you need to compromise within a relationship you need to put in the work and i feel like that is going to be where you guys are who are going to meet like each other because you both have you're both like how do you say it like same minded you guys have like you think the same literally like the same so when one person says a the other one already knows that a person say a but this person can already complete that sentence with a b so that's that's like the awesome commitment that you guys are going to have and i feel like you both are going to be so so willing about you know um putting in all 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 the effort um to make this relationship work and then and then we have the five of this and with the five of this i feel like um this i feel maybe there there has been some of you guys oh one i'm sorry one of you guys might have like lost something in the past so maybe one of you guys as i said needs a little bit more healing needs a little bit more time to fully commit to this relationship because i don't feel like this five of this really is about this relationship but it's about like a previous emotion that a person might be feeling in the beginning whether it's you or whether it's the person that you're going to meet i feel like you know you guys have experienced a lot a loss of someone who was really special so maybe you know some of you guys were really close uh to an ex maybe you have like a long-term relationship or there was like something really serious going on and you lost that love but i feel like this person knows the value of love and doesn't take it like uh this person really takes love seriously and that's why this person is ready to commit so this is a person who's not going to give up easily this is a person when this person finds you this person will stay for you this person will fight for you this person will go like through fire for you i feel like this 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 is a person that will do like anything anything for you and for this relationship for it to just succeed and also guys, seeing from the cards, what I can say is I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of ones. So we could talk to me, I definitely could be talking about um, an earth sign. It could be like a Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. And just like the state of mind of, you know, how this person wants to approach this relationship and how, you know, steady they are. It definitely reminds me of the earthy science you know they're very like down to earth they really know what they want they really like set a goal and they are like so strongly want to go like for a long-term commitment they they really want to like build something from the scratch with someone they want to invest they are not you know they they are not shy to work hard for something when they really think that something is worth it and I feel like you are going to be like worth it. You are like so, they, they think that you are so worthy of everything that you guys accomplish together, going to accomplish together. So this is like, so such like a beautiful relationship that's coming. And, um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a relationship that has like a really strong core so that you know you guys are going to build like something that's really stable that's like solid for the future i thought that's like awesome so this is really really good group number two so let's see what the other cards have here for you because i do have like other cards here so i have this beautiful heart cards oh, so lovely so let's start with this one wow like passion sexual union okay so it says honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss so i feel this definitely represents um the soulmate connection that you guys will have um as i said like i do feel like this person that you're going to meet is very much like a gold person or someone who 
feels like really strong about commitment who's going to be like very loyal who's going to like provide everything i feel like this is going to be maybe a provider as someone um not only a provider but i feel that you as well has like that mindset that you want to build something with someone and this is like the person that you can do it with and i feel that's going to make you like that union that being in one place finding that bliss in another person because you guys think the same that it's going to be like really really beautiful that you find this trade in someone else and it makes you like really attractive uh, attractive for this person so i feel this person might be someone who I know, I feel like this might be like someone who is also like uh, a career type of person who might be having like a stable income. I don't know, I'm getting like someone who has some type of like power or has like the cash or something like that. I feel like this person is kind of like wealthy to so think about like big jobs, but I, I do feel like this is a person who worked hard to be where this person is. So I don't feel like this um it's like old money and i feel like this is a wealth coming from his family or something it might be that um the family might be rich or something but i feel like this person worked as really hard to get where this person is i feel like this person is also someone who's really smart who's like very intelligent who's like a good writer or you know likes to write things down who's like really good um with with putting things down with writing things i feel like he's good with words but you know on paper so um i don't know i'm seeing maybe a lawyer <laughs> right here it could be who's someone who's also in the teaching but i also feel this could be like i don't know someone who's a psychic it, it does like go like from one or the other side but you know remember guys this is a general reading so just take with you what resonates but um yeah, I feel like you guys will really find that happy place within each other. Uh, I really got distracted there because I got like a lot of different different things going on here. Um, okay, so then we have like this card. Let's see what it says. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to flow its guidance. Oh my goodness. This is like such a beautiful card. Oh my God. So I feel, as I said, like this is the dream of both of you. I feel like you guys have been searching for a long time for this relationship to appear into your life. And it, they, I feel like they're kind of like rare. I'm seeing like mushrooms for some reason. So I'm feeling like this is a kind of like a rare once in a lifetime, maybe opportunity for you guys meeting each other like in this way. And I feel that, um, it's just like, it's kind of like fate. Fate has like brought you together. And I feel, this is you know you have to like follow your heart and even though it might seem like i feel maybe for you guys maybe you guys are people who are really down to earth so this is like whoa really am i like really feeling like this way could this actually be happening um so uh, i feel like you have to trust your intuition in this and just you know allow to be feeling this love through you and excitement and beautiful energy coming through because that's you you guys are like so worthy of it then we have reflection give each other enough space at the moment trust and have faith that it will all work out for the best so i feel you guys are very um as i said you guys are very independent people i feel like both maybe if you guys um kind of like have your own life you're very sure of what you want in life and that's because you have experience maybe both of you guys have like baggage and that's why you guys know what you want and um i feel like you guys have to trust that sometimes you know even though there is going to be distance because you guys are very independent i feel like both of you guys are going to have your life and that's okay that's okay i feel like that's going to be that's going to be the thing that is going to work for you guys because sometimes you might have felt in the past that you know some people might give you too many attention or that you couldn't handle that much attention or that you wanted less attention because i feel maybe you or this person has like a busy life and i feel that's that's 
not going to be like a trust issue for you guys because you guys are the same so for you if this person is actually a lawyer or a doctor or something like that and this person has to leave the house to go to do you know his job it's not going to be like a problem so there's not going to be like a trust issue here i feel like that is the reason that you guys find each other so great that's why you guys are going to work like so well together because you guys think the same it's not like that's the trust issue you guys know that you guys can go are going to trust each other and that's going to be like the basic foundation of your relationship okay so let's see i do have like uh three other oracle cards so let's see what we have so we have the eighth house right here um endings and beginning so i feel like with this card um it shows that um even though as i said you guys are very practical people very logical people, i feel like this person you're going to meet is going to be like very intelligent i feel like this person is just it's just a smart you really want to be around this person i feel like this person has interesting things to say okay um but i feel aside from that that this person has a lot of passion there's going to be like a flirty um tension between you guys a very sexual tension between you guys and that's going to kind of like who start up things up with both of you okay so it's not only going to be like you guys understand each other on a deeper level but you guys are also going to have like that sexual tension between you guys it's going to be amazing i feel like so so many just passion and just love and who good things like coming through i feel like it's going to be like a rebirth for both of you because you guys as i said have experienced like a lot and now it's like coming all together you guys are like finally meeting you know all the dots are connecting let me put it that way okay and then we have the 12th house right here and the 12th house ooh, is pisces okay and pisces is bringing in that dreaminess that i feel like you guys are both going to have like big dreams for this relationship that you guys really want the same for this relationship and that you're going to work really hard for this relationship um and that's just going to be like amazing i feel like it's it's I feel like you guys are going to connect like so deeply that there is like n maybe people on the outside won't get your relationship won't get maybe why you're not jealous of this person not being there maybe uh all around um but i feel like you guys will understand each other on a level that no one around you will understand each other and that is what's going to make you guys so strong so as i said maybe this person has to travel for work or something like that has to be away uh for some reason like all the other people are going to be like you know why you trust this person um the, i i don't feel like you should trust this person or something like that and then you know you know that this person is so so loyal to you and that you have to trust that and so i feel like there's going to be like a deeper understanding with with uh between you guys that no one else can understand and that is what's going to make this relationship work oh, so good together okay and then we have the ninth house <laughs> guys 33 faith okay so with faith i feel like you know this is this is destiny this is destined you guys are destined to be together you your paths are destined to cross this is no coincidence that you guys will meet i feel because maybe both of you guys have put this wish whether it was you know conscious or unconscious you guys put this wish into the universe and i feel like the universe has worked this way to bring you guys together so i feel like it's no coincidence that you guys are going to meet each other and i feel like maybe you know i feel maybe one of you guys are um has like the sixth sense so it might be like you <laughs> um who's watching that feels like you know i'm you feel stuff you know that things are coming and i feel maybe you're going to receive some signs that are going to lead you in a certain direction and when you meet this person i feel like you're just going to know that you know it's 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 there and it's going to be there and i you know with the Ouija board right here i feel like it's it's a relationship that's going to be guided so you know the universe very much want you guys to be together because i feel like this this is going to be an amazing opportunity for both of you guys it's going to be like a really amazing relationship um but with the night house it could also mean you know with faith that you know that long distance it could also be that there might be like 
a distance between you guys it might be like this person as i said might be working like afar or something like that i feel like this this is like a solid person who has like a stable foundation but he really needs to work for for that so it might be like this this person is like a doctor a lawyer or you know a big boss at some place uh you know maybe even someone who writes music or something like that or has to do with music or something with art i know but who has to travel or maybe who has to be like be um away a lot maybe in the beginning or you know throughout your relationship and i feel you just have to trust this person that this person is going to be faithful and very loyal to you because this person is definitely that person uh who's going to be that for you okay so group number one this was your reading i hope it resonates with you if it did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you like what you see uh, consider subscribing to my channel because i would love to have you here for now guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye hi there group number two sitting here because you're drawn to this beautiful arcanite uh gemstone um so let's see what these cards hold for your next relationship Okay, so group number two, these are the cards that I have for you. We're starting with the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Swords. We have the Seven of Disc, the Hierophant, and the Prince of Swords in reverse. Okay, so let's start with this beautiful reading. So we have the Eight of Wands right here. And with the Eight of Wands, I feel like this person that you're going to meet, it's all going to happen really fast and who is going to be something that maybe will catch you like off guard i feel like whatever is going to come this is like a very good card to have i feel like this person is going to come into your life is going to be someone who is going to come straight for you i feel like this person is going to be like very straightforward i feel like this person is very flirty very charming and that this person will from right on right out this person will try to get like your attention but i do feel like this person wants to move fast i feel like this person will fall kind of like head over heels for you like this person sees you and he's like oh my god i have to like get this girl i have to get this guy because this is who hot i feel like this person should be like in my life and i really need I really need to work hard to get this person. So I feel like in the beginning, um, you know, it we could be talking like a role with, um, a romance or something like that. Um, or it's just like falling like head over heels for you. You know, sometimes you meet someone, you're like, oh, I need to catch my breath because, oh my gosh, you're like so perfect. Um, and I feel like this person is going to feel that weight about you, that this person is like going to think, oh my God, like, <laughs> I, can, I have to catch my breath this is like the person that i want to go for um so i feel like this person is going to like move really fast and also really determined to get you i mean this person will come and maybe um you know i mean i feel like you will notice this person flirting with you from right on like this person will show like his true interest within you there will be like no doubt that this person is interested in you but this person will, will also like make his intention clear like you know i want something with you i want to start a relationship with you i feel like this person will follow up like very quickly it's it's it might not be like the relationships that you're used to uh but yeah keep in mind that this is a general reading um but i feel like it might not be like what you used to maybe you're used to you know people taking them uh, their time or maybe you're someone who likes to take it slow and i feel like this might overwhelm you in the beginning like who okay are you are you kidding me or you know maybe it's like too charming or too this or you know is he is he genuine and talking about what we have like the seven of swords like right aside deception so i feel like this doesn't mean like this person that you're going to meet is not going to be like a faithful person but i feel this is about how you are going to experience that type of attention i feel like um because this person might be flirting and charming that you might think okay this might be you know a little bit of a player or something like that that you might be a little bit cautious about this person behaving in a certain way that that will make you a little bit more you know reserved like 
I don't I don't know what your intentions are. Are you are you for real? Are you like for sure? Um, because I feel like this person will fall like fall head over heels for you. And maybe tell you like you know I think you're amazing. I think you're wonderful. And you'll be like okay. You know, you're very, very much enthusiastic. You're telling me like all of this. I feel like in the beginning, it will kind of like make you feel a little bit like uncomfortable because you're not used to maybe this type of attention or people really speaking their mind like in this way about you. So I feel like that will make you like conscious. Like, you know, are you are you for real? You know, <laughs> what are your emotions? Uh, what do you want with me? So I feel in the beginning, you will be like maybe more reserved and this person will be like super enthusiastic because this person really will fall like for you, like will go like all the way for you. He sees you and he's like, oh my God, this is the person that I've been dreaming about and that I want in my life. I feel like this person is really, really sure about you. And this is going to make you just, you know, a little bit, a little bit cautious, like, okay, you know, take it easy. I don't know. I don't know. It could also be that this person uh, might be a little bit of a jealous type. Okay, um, because I believe that this I over oh, the sensation that I'm getting is that this person really thinks of you of who someone who's really attractive, um, someone who's really sexy, um, but also like really beautiful to see. So I feel like this person on some level might be a little bit of uh, insecure about you know either her emotions or the way you're acting because if you're acting like in the beginning a little bit cautious a little bit reverse and uh this person might think okay maybe this person is not interested in me and that might make him a little bit you know doubt and that may bring up some jealousy so this person might be a little bit a little bit um clingy you know a little bit clingy in the beginning because i feel like in the beginning the i feel you'll be interested but I feel like you're not sure about the intentions of the other person. So that's why you are going to be like a little bit more cautious. But when you're cautious, you know, the other person is going to think, okay, maybe this person is not interested in me. But I do feel because this person is so like in love with you, this person will do like anything for you. So this person will you know, call you, just WhatsApp you, just message you or, you know, do whatever this person has to do to kind of like stay in your life in the beginning. But I feel like the more the relationship will progress, the more this will kind of like balance out, okay? Then we have the seven of disc. And with the seven of disc, I feel like this person will, will work, will put in the work, will put in all the effort for you. I feel like this person it might also be like this person is much more invested in this relationship than you are or is going to be like much more invested than you are because I feel like this person is who really, really in love, almost like obsessed with you. Like who? I really like this uh, person. I really want to be like with this person. So I feel like this person will do whatever it takes in a good way, in a good way, to make it work for you, with you. So I feel like, um, you know, this person will just woo you, will just like go out on dates, just put like all the effort there, will buy you roses, will buy you, I don't know, jewelry or something like that. I feel like this person really wants to charm you, really wants you to make, uh, to make you feel like his queen or his king or something like that. I feel like this person really really wants you to feel your best i don't know like if this kind of like makes sense but this person really wants you to feel good you to be happy this person really puts your happiness at you know it's he will make his your happiness his priority you get that so this person is going to be like all in for you this person really wants to listen to you wants to make you happy wants for you to just be content in life. And I feel like whatever you're going to do while you're with this person, I feel like this person is going to be there for you. This person is going to be like your greatest cheerleader. So whatever you're going through, whatever there's like something bad is going, to, going on in your life, this person is going to be like your rock, is going to cheer you on, is going to want you to succeed in life. So that's like a really good quality to have here. And then with the Hierophant uh, right here, this is like a beautiful card to have because with the Hierophant, it shows that 
you guys are like like-minded. You guys have like the same values. You guys think the same. And I think like the more you guys will get to know each other and know this is the more your bond will grow deeper or just like deepen. I feel, you know, maybe in the beginning there will be maybe some misunderstanding or, or something like that because of the emotions. But then once you get to know this person, I feel like you will be amazed on how uh, many levels you guys can connect and how well you guys work together. So I feel in the end, this is going to be a wonderful relationship. But I feel like in the beginning, one of you guys are going to be like overwhelmed by these emotions. Like, oh my God, you know, how am I supposed to act? And is this like, is this person really genuine about, you know, the things that he or she, she is saying? Um, but I feel like the more you, um, the more you get to know each other, the more you'll notice that you guys have like the similar values and that you guys want like the same things that you guys can relate so much to each other. Um, and maybe that's because you have like, uh, you're going, maybe you're going to guys, ha ha, maybe you guys are going to have like a similar background or something like that. I feel, I don't know. And this is very, very specific. But it might be that you guys are both kind of like quirky or maybe you guys have been bullied in the past. And, you know, this is a really specific uh, reading. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry. This is a general reading. So this is a very specific message. <laughs> that is what I was going to say. But OK, um, so I feel like maybe some of you guys um, have been like bullied in the past or something like that. And that's, you know, you guys are going to connect on that level, on your experiences, on um, maybe the past traumas that you have. So you're going to notice that there are layers to this person. That's like what I feel like, you know, the first layer is like, okay, is this like all, maybe you, you guys, you're going to think like this person is a little bit uh, super superficial or something like that. And then you, you're going to peel off the layers and then you're going to, you know, get deeper and deeper. And you're going to be like, Oh my God, you know, the more you peel off the more beautiful side of this person that you will see and, and the other way around. Right. So this person, you guys are going to get to know each other. And I feel like I feel like this is going to be like a real onion. You guys are going to cry because there's like so many beautiful things deepened in this person under all of those layers. And that is like what you guys, it's just connecting you guys so much. So I feel like maybe the first impression is might be like a little bit of awkward. It might just like take a while for you to, you know, switch to make that switch in your mind to get to know this person. But I feel like once you do, once you do, that's like a game changer. That's going to be like a game changer because then you're going to notice that even though like there is like a, a layer on top, that's like the layer that this person will put up like a mask just to, you know, just to protect himself or something like that. And I feel once you get like under that mask, there are like so many beautiful things that you will get to know. But those things are only reserved for you, for that special someone that comes into this person's life. OK, and then we have the Prince of Swords. And when the Prince of Swords in reserve, um, reverse, what's happening with me, guys, today? I have like so many troubles pronouncing words, but OK, bear with me. You know, once I start, it's like all off, but OK. So with the Prince of Swords, I'm getting like, you know, this person might be a little bit impulsive. I feel I feel like maybe this person is not fully matured yet. So it might be like someone who might be a little bit younger than you or something like that. Or um, this person is, doesn't have like the experience to mature him. But I feel like with you, you guys will go through a certain transformation that will lift them just a little bit higher. So I feel like there is a lot of growth to be done here. You know, there is possibility for growth for both of you guys. But I feel maybe one of you guys might not be like fully matured or might be really impulsive in certain situation. And that is why maybe, you know, one of you guys will be like more reserved. Like, I don't know if this person is genuine in his or her emotions. OK, so that is what I'm getting. Um, but also, guys, this could also mean that um, it's just like got like here. But 
um, this message coming true. Like it could also mean like there is like a big surprise coming up ahead with the uh, Prince of Swords right here. So there could be like, you know, some big surprise as this person really likes to uh, woo you. I feel like it could also be like definitely a possibility that this person will have at a certain point really soon in their relationship. Maybe this person will say, you know, let's go away. Let's let's do a getaway and surprise you with that or something like that. Or, you know, with something that you wouldn't expect at the beginning of a relationship or something like that. So I feel like this person really wants to move fast and really wants to show you his true emotion. And that's a little bit impulsive, right? You know, that sweet kind of like without thinking, doing stuff, uh, but this in a good way, okay? So this is like to surprise you, to do something like who really that wows you. This person really wants you to feel like everything, like you're so worth it. So let's get to the other cards, guys. So I have like three heart cards. So beautiful, by the way. So let's see what this is. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But it can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that, you know, it's a true reflection. Sometimes we get confronted by our own emotions because each and every one of us, we have past, we have like baggage. So of course, when you are in a relationship and you're feeling, you know, is this person genuine with me? Is this person like being honest, you know, stuff like that. It might be that you're caught up in emotions from the past. So maybe you have been um, disillusioned in the past of someone, but it's good to every time when you are starting something new to start up with an open heart and an open mind. And of course, whenever your heart is involved, it really gets um, scary because you know, our heart is our everything, right? Um, but they are really applauding you or encouraging you to open up and keep that open mind when you meet this person. Okay, let's see what this second card has to bring. It's important right now to take a step back and, send, and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give yourself. Okay, so in the beginning, as I said, this person is going to be like really, really determined. And of course, whenever you are really determined, you can get like too much, even a little bit obsessed with that situation. And that will be like a good time to, you know, take some time off with each other. So what I'm getting with this information is that it might be that maybe in the beginning, as I said, there will be like some type of misunderstanding. And from that, maybe you guys will kind of like maybe have like a small break. It could be like you guys won't talk for a week or maybe two, and then you guys will reconnect again or meet each other like in a different situation. And then that spark will, you know, happen because you need to pull off like that first layer to see like that, you know, deeper layers of this person. So I feel maybe this will be something that will have like its struggles in the beginning. But once you get like into this relationship, it will be like something that's really worthy of your time. Okay, so secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so what did I say? Like, I feel like the, it, it definitely could be like someone who, you know, already has like an eye on you. But as I said, I feel like it could also be like a person who is more invested in this relationship than you, who has like really more emotions for you than you have for this person, right? Um, so I think that is what maybe is going to make that first start a little bit, you know, awkward or uncomfortable maybe for you because you will be like, uh, surprised by all of these emotions and this person is going to be yeah but you know I've been feeling like uh, uh, I've been feeling like this for a while and really wants to go for you and I feel maybe this you know will kind of like um, as I said make it like more re reverse you will like hold back a little bit like I, I'm not sure I'm ready like for this um, but yeah this person has been thinking uh, for a while about this and it's ready it's ready now guys for you okay so then we have the 10th house uh the card of the 10th house let me put it right here first okay and it's the world and with this card 
beautiful soul. I just get like this person really wants to give you the world, really wants to give you everything. I feel like this person really wants to give it all up for you. I feel like this person is very, um, even maybe a little bit obsessed. I feel like this might be a desire from this person, maybe for a longer time, um, that's coming out to fruitation. Uh, it's also like forming like a seven. It's like victory. It's like, you know, something finally happening. Um, a victorious moment for this person. So I feel like this person has maybe waited like a long time to make this move or for you to come into his life. And this person is not about to give up that easily. This person really wants to give you um, the world. Okay. Uh, but I do feel also this this might be that you or this person is in a very stable place. I feel like you guys have, you know, a great reputation or something like that. Um, but it could also mean that you guys will travel the world together or that there is some type of traveling um, going on. It might be that you guys are, you know, from different states or something like that. Or there is maybe some distance between you guys and that will make it, you know, even harder to really trust someone if you can see someone. So it might be that, you know, you guys will meet online and that you are um, thinking like, you know, this person is kind of like sketchy. How will I know that this person is really, you know, in for me because, you know, online dating is right now really, really tough and it's hard to pick, you know, to know if someone is really honest, if someone is really genuine. So maybe in the beginning, this will be like more of an online romance or, you know, a romance that has like some distance and then slowly uh, but steady, this will progress maybe even after a time of not speaking with each other. So that's kind of like making it more clear for me. If you guys will have like a pause, that's more easy to do when you guys are communicating like online or something like that. Okay. So, um, okay. But keep in mind, as I said, this is a general reading. So only take what resonates with you. Okay. Then we have the Saturn return age. And with this card, I feel it talks about, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an older man up there. So I feel um, this might be a little bit about like an age different. It could be that this person is older or that you might be older. As I said, as we have like the card of, uh, you know, that impulsiveness and a younger person. So I feel, um, you know, one of you might be younger, might or maybe might act a little bit younger but be older or, or something like that. Um, so it could be like you have like a younger energy, but that you are old. That is like what I'm trying to say. Um, but in the most thing, I feel like this person, you know, when you peel off the layer, this person is very uh, responsible, has like a great, um, stable, solid foundation, has like a good... Um, this, you know, is very steady. It's only like down to earth in a way, but I feel like you bring that childish energy to this person because when you're like crazy in love, that's like how you get. I don't know like how to explain it, but I feel like in the core, this person is a very mature person, but because when you're around, this person gets like very, very like flirty, very like totally in love. And that's kind of like what makes him impulsive. I think that's the thing, you know, when you are like totally head over heels uh, for someone, you kind of like lose all grip from reality around you when this person is around, right? Okay, and then again, we have a seven right here. So lunar eclipse is change. So I feel, um, you know, the change will come, the transformation will come, the more that you guys will get to know each other. So as I said, you need to peel off the layers, okay? So I feel like as this moon uh, shows, you have to go to different stages. So I feel like this relationship will need to go to different stages before you can get like to that happy place, to the place where you'll feel safe and secure as well. Um, and feel, and this could go like really fast or, you know, as slow as you want it to, but I feel like, you know, it will, it will grow and it will transform and you guys will grow together. I feel like the more you get to know this person as this person gets to know you, the more this person will also be like more comfortable. And then you'll start to see like the more who he or she is, uh, because when you are very 
excited or when you're nervous i mean we all know you can we can all like blab or do things that we don't normally do and that might seem like a bit quirky or you know just down plain stupid or something like that but when you're comfortable you know you can get to yourself and you can relax and you can show someone else who you are and I feel that will take just a little bit of time from this person to really get over his first you know how to over the heel emotions for you so that is the transformation that you guys will go through but it's definitely worth your time so group number two this was your reading i hope it resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel because i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye Hi there, group number two. So you're here because you're drawn to the third pal with this beautiful ginseng on top. So let's see what these cards can tell me about your next relationship. Okay, so group number three, these are the cards that I have for you, starting with the Princess of Wands. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Magician right here, the Princess of Swords, and last we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a beautiful relationship and i'm not sure like why but i feel like with the nine of cups just like staring coming down at me i feel like this is i don't know i'm just getting like a really peaceful sensation a really lovable a really cute sweet gentle cotton cotton i don't know just i'm getting like really sweet vibrations from these cards um uh, so that is like the first thing that i wanted to say so um good things are at least coming ahead group number three so we have the princess of wands to start off with and with that this tells me that and this new person that you're about to meet um you know or that there is at least a new romance on the horizon you can see like th she's looking forward to this beautiful romance and i feel like this romance is going to bring like so many beautiful things like huh you guys you can imagine right now the beautiful energy that's pouring in at this moment so i feel like this romance is going to be like a romance of my lifetime okay so i feel this is going to be a really beautiful um relationship that you're going to start off with it's like full of excitement something new something that is going to be really fun um i feel there's going to be like a lot lots of love coming and pouring in okay so then we have here the four of cups with the four of cups i feel like there is never going to be a dull moment i feel like you guys are going to be so so in love with each other but are also very maybe active or i don't know if it's like active but i can feel like you guys are going to enjoy so much of each other whether it is like you know, sitting at home, watching, watching, you know, the movies, you know, talking with each other, just cuddling up with each other. I feel like this is the romance that we read about, like in books, that you just want to like snuggle up to something. If you're like that kind of type, right? But I still like snuggling, uh, you know, on the couch with each other, you know, eating popcorn with each other, being right there with each other, just reading the newspaper, doing like those kind of like, small but really fun stuff with each other um so i feel like you guys are going to connect on like the soulmate level on like the twin uh mate level so i feel like this is going to be a really beautiful beautiful time there's never going to be like a dull moment never going to be like a moment that you're not feeling the love for each other i feel like that is going to be the center and the core of re your relationship and i feel like you guys are going to um experience that throughout all your your entire relationship like you know sometimes we wake up one day and we're like you know okay i, I, don't, I don't feel it or you kind of like miss a spark or something like that um because we were just all humans and relationship have like the ups and downs but i feel with you guys the love is like oh so high so like what motivates you guys to to motivates you guys to be together so i feel this is going to be so such a profound and deep relationship that you guys are going to have with each other that's like so beautiful so amazing okay and then we have 
um, uh, the Five of Cups. And with the Five of Cups, I feel, you know, it might be that in the past, I, I'm not sure I'm getting this. It might be like a very specific message, but I feel maybe you lost someone. And I don't feel like this maybe has been like with your ex. I feel maybe some of you guys, um, but remember, this is like a general reading. So only think with you what resonates with you. But I feel you had you dealt with like a great loss. So maybe you are someone who doesn't have like his parents anymore, or maybe you lost someone who was really near and dear to you. And then um, for some reason, this person is going to remind you of that, that that love that's so unconditional. I feel like um, this person is going to remind you of that love, definitely of someone who was like really, really close to you. And if not, it could be like this person just just will fill that void. Maybe you have like some kind of like trauma or anything like that or something like that. And this person will fill in that void. This will be like the unconditional love that maybe you've never experienced before. Maybe you don't have like a strong bond with your parents or maybe you know you have like some traumas or anything like that. But this person is really going to give you that unconditional love. Also, many four of cups right here. Uh, it could also be that you will meet this person in an unexpected place. Um, so, you know, maybe somewhere you just didn't expect it. And then this person is like, whoo, here I am. Here I am. Or maybe this person will come at an unexpected time in your life, right? So maybe you lost someone and you don't expect to meet anyone like, you know, soon because maybe you're grieving or you're just like in a phase that you're not ready to meet anyone. And then this person will come up in your life that that will like turn things around. Okay. Then we have here the nine of cups and when the nine of cups, the fulfillment right here, your cups will be overflowing. I feel like this person will be like your dream coming true. I feel like whatever you've wished for and whatever this person has wished for, you guys will complement each other in so many ways. I feel like you guys are the heart desires of each other. So I feel you both have desired for a certain person to come into your life. And I feel like I feel like this is like a wish granted by the universe. I feel like this was something that, you know, you deserved and this person as well. And I feel that you guys are both really gentle and loving and so, so, so beautiful. You guys gave maybe a lot to the community. I feel like maybe this person that you're going to meet is also a real giver. So I feel like it's someone who um, is really maybe close to his or her family, um, really do some community work or something like that, or, you know, works in a way that really helps people. So I feel like both of you guys are very people who are really deserving of this love. I don't know. Everyone is like really deserving of love. I don't know why I'm like picking like those right words, but, um, what I mean is that maybe you guys have been like through a lot and this is just, this is you guys are so deserving right now of this love because you need that healing you need like someone that beautiful to come into your life and just you know just hug you and just be there for you and just how oh, whisper beautiful words in your ears that's like what i'm seeing like kisses on the ears on the cheek on the neck i feel like this person will love you fully fully for the way you are and even if you are insecure about certain things don't be because this person will accept you fully 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 the way you are there's no reasons for you to be insecure about anything okay so that is the way that's like a message that was also like coming through then we have the magician right here and with the mag magician right here i feel like you know this person is really serious about you i feel like you both are committed or going to be like really committed uh to this relationship i feel as i said like this was either a manifestation or a wish granted to you um by the universe uh because you guys are so deserving of this and that you guys are so committed in about in this relationship i feel it was like destined so it might also be that you guys will receive some signs maybe even from deceased love members or something like that i don't know guys i'm not sure but i feel like there has been like a path right here or something like that. I feel like, 
I, f I don't know, this might be really specific, of course, but I feel like a grandma involved. Maybe someone is trying to match you guys up or something like that. Maybe this was a wish, a wish for someone who was deceased or something. Someone wished you guys would end up together and this kind of like happened. Whoa, this is like really specific, but the more I get into it, the more details like I'm getting. Um, so yeah, I feel like this might be like a wish from someone being granted. Not from you guys, but maybe for someone who wanted this to happen. Uh, it could be like really good friends who really wanted, you know, you guys to be happy again, to, to see you smile again, or, you know, because something that was really tragic happened and someone really wants to see you happy smiling again, something like that. Wow. So beautiful. So you have like really loving people around you to have them think like that for you and to be like so, so happy for you guys when you, when they see you smile. So this is going to be like a relationship that's going to heal a lot. I feel like people want to see you smile again. People want to see you happy again, okay? And then we have the Princess of Swords here in reverse, okay? And um, I feel that it might be, and I, I don't feel like this is one of you guys, but I feel like maybe it could be that, that a person is more invested in this relationship than you guys are and I don't feel like it's one of you guys so it could be as I said like a third party really being invested in some type of way so I don't know if you guys you might be like going like on a blind date or something and that your friends really want you guys to be together or you know someone in the family really wants you guys to be together um, but I feel it might be like someone who is really invested in this relationship and really wants to see this relationship flourish and for some reason want you guys to kind of like be together um but i definitely see this as a new opportunity uh coming up into your life and changing changing the way you are at this moment it's definitely a beautiful beautiful card and then we have the six of cups the innocence guys this is such a beautiful card so i feel this is innocent love i feel that this is this as i said it's like a fairy tale love i feel that you guys will have like such a deep beautiful connection with each other it's like a whole it's like on a whole different level but i feel also that this person will be like very, very sweet to you, will be very kind. It's like such a sweetheart. It's just like, that's like what I'm getting, like such a sweet person to have around. This person is very caring, very loving. This person will put like family first. And and I do feel also with the innocence right here, it could also be that this person, that you guys are into planning family, that you guys, you know, maybe you'll become pregnant uh, with this person i'm seeing like marriage i feel I, maybe even engagement i feel this is a really long-term relationship because this is such like an innocence kind of like you know the bambi the beautiful just i'm the earth it's just like so so beautiful so i'm feeling like the innocence it could also be that you guys know each other like from a long time maybe you guys know each other from child or something and then that this is kind of like a reconnection or something or a reconciliation in a way not a reconciliation i think maybe you guys were friends and then you guys got disconnected or something and people are setting you guys up or something i'm not sure but i'm feeling like this is going to be a really beautiful amazing chemistry uh love connection and i do feel like if you guys don't know each other that you guys will have this feeling that you've known each other for your whole life that you know the moment that you guys will meet that you guys will connect on such a deeper level it's like unknown it's like so so deep that you guys will just need to look at each other and it's like looking into a mirror and I feel you guys are both really soft people. So it could be that we're talking about Pisces. I'm seeing like a lot of cups. Um, but definitely like water signs, like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that we could be like talking about. I'm also seeing like, you know, just innocence. So we could, I'm just seeing like blue eyes and seeing blondish. I'm also seeing brown. Um, so I'm feeling like both of you guys are so 
well balanced emotional people and but this also is like a type of a healing a healing that comes with that love so it's a really beautiful relationship coming at the right time at this moment and this is like something that people around you really want they want that for you they want you to get married be successful get pregnant or anything like that if you have been wishing for that that's really coming okay so if you really have like a wish to you know move forward in life get like real that commitment that's really coming that's like a huge possibility is what i'm seeing okay so let's get to the other cards guys oh wow this is like such a beautiful card wow okay so let's see what it says you may not always understand why certain things happen however there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed oh okay guys this is like so beautiful i'm almost like getting tears but we have here the five of cups right and yes, we don't always know what happened or, you know, the reason why something happened. Uh, I'm getting like really emotional right now, but I feel like maybe something has happened. Maybe you lost someone um, and you really feel sad about that. You really are devastated about that. But there is a new blessing coming and that's like this person coming into your life, showing you that it's still possible to have that love to you know to connect with each other in such a beautiful way <sighs> so many emotions guys i'm like grasping for air in here so beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possesses equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection okay so with this i'm getting you guys are going to be like so, so similar to each other that I feel like it might scare you just a little bit because when you see yourself in another person, that's also like really confronting, right? It's like looking into a mirror. As I said, like the moment you'll meet, you guys will have like that deeper connection. If you guys like believe in a twin flame, I feel like this is like the twin flame. This is like the deeper connection that you will have like you will instantly see yourself another person and that could also be like really confronting so when you are seeing qualities that you don't like in another person that's because those qualities are just a reflect uh, a reflection of yourself right so i feel like this relationship is also a way of transforming you but i feel that you guys are very much ready for that transformation for that growth together it's a relationship that's going to take you to a higher place a higher deeper meaning of love and that's because you have that certain experience in your love area right okay and then we have embrace through each other you find the missing pieces <gasps> oh, oh my gosh guys this is so sweet and i feel like that's it right maybe you lost something and i and that's what i was talking about that healing so because this person comes into your life there is like a certain part of you that will heal because of this person but don't forget you're also bringing you into this relationship so you're also healing the other person whatever this person is going through so i feel like this will be like a mutual deeply uh ongoing love connection between you guys of healing and growing together and that is what is going to make you guys really really strong and it's also going to be you know something and it's also going to be something that you guys have never experienced before wow so so beautiful okay so let's see what the other cards are saying so we have pluto right here transformation okay so what did i talk about this is going to be a relationship that is going to transform both of you guys it's not only going to be like one or the other you know who has to adapt to this new relationship i feel because if you're talking about twin flame you're confronting each other also with you know who you are and that is something that's not easily done but i feel like you guys are so ready for this that you guys can overcome whatever happens uh with each other um 
and that you're ready to face this union or this challenge together. But I do feel that you guys are at a point that you're coming to union and that it's not so much about the bickering, the arguing and the confronting of each other. I feel like you are in a more advanced or a more maybe further place. Uh, should I say it, put it like that? Um, and then we have the card of the North Node. Uh, no, Node. Okay, anywho, it's my purpose. That's what counts for me. And for this is, for me, a confirmation of the twin flame union, of the life purpose, of the divine life path, that for some, for some reason, you, your path were meant to cross again. I feel like this is an again. I feel whether you have met each other into, you know, another plane or this plane, I feel you guys already know each other. So I feel your paths will cross again. I feel like you guys will feel so familiar to each other that it's just a matter of, you know, talking again with this good old friend or something like that. Just it's, it's now it's here but it's also very known and comfortable. I feel like you guys will feel so comfortable with each other. Like you won't care if you know how the other sees you or, you know, I don't know. You will just be like comfortable. You don't have like anything to hide. You'll just be like your pure self. You're in your comfortable form because this person truly understands you the way you are. This person is you in a way. Like that's strange, like um so i feel like this person is you that's why it's so easy for you to just be yourself there's like no playing game here there's like this only like mirroring each other and making each other grow and you know you guys will um and challenge each other to grow but also like those challenges will bring you guys closer and um heighten that bond that you have together it's like amazing okay and then we have scorpio again transform transform and we have like the number of two here but i feel in this transformation it's all about the rebirth right it's about the challenges that you guys will face whether it is together or whether it is the inner struggles that you guys have i feel you guys will overcome anything that comes your way i feel like you guys are a union you guys will be like a strong who force a force of love and i feel you will bring like a lot of good things into this world i feel like you guys are like kind-hearted people that have like a purpose, um, a good like community purpose or something. So it might be that you guys will help like your community in a certain way or that you guys have like a goal that you guys want to accomplish or something like together. I also see like this is a really great card of passion. And as we know with the Twin Flames, there's like a lot of passion going on between you guys. And I feel that that is also going to be like the case with you guys. So not only like the love, the sweetness, but there's also going to be like the spiciness, the love, the hoo hoo ha ha part. Um, you know, want to be together with each other and just like, you know, laying in bed on the Sundays and just keeping in or something like that so that is what i'm feeling this is a really really strong and really beautiful relationship coming your way group number three so i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see hit that subscribe button i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye hi there group number four so you're here because you're joined to this beautiful gemstone so let's see what these cards can tell me about your next relationship okay group number four so these are the cards that i have for you so we're starting with the universe we have the eight of this card here we have the lovers manifestation oh sorry the princess of this card here the nine of swords and we have the prince of wands okay so um i'm getting like a strong lovers romance passion um very like a scorpio like energy for some reason and i even I haven't started yet okay so we have here the universe and with the universe i feel like whoever is coming into your life wants to give you everything i feel like this person who's coming up next is in a way a manifestation of yours um, but this person is also like a very, very generous person with the universe. I feel like this person wants to give you like the universe, wants to give you like whatever you want, whatever you desire. 
um, but it also is like the universe giving you whatever your desire. So whoever is coming up next is going to be like someone who really matches all of your fantasies, your dreams, everything that you have written down. I may feel like you're someone who's a very, you know, person that manifests things, that write things down in their journal or even in the phone or like, are you like a person who writes things down? Let me know that in the comment box down below. But I feel like if you are, then this is like a universe who's just checked all your boxes. I feel like this is like going to be something that you wish for and it's definitely coming your way. And if you're not someone who is into manifesting or who hasn't like a wish that is up in the universe, then this is just like someone coming into your life that really wants to give you like everything, everything you desire, okay? So that's whew, someone who's really going to fall head over heels for you. And um, it's very generous. I feel like this person might be a little bit, not a lot older, but just a little bit older because he, this person really needs to be that financially secure, but also like a person who will do like whatever you want because this person wants you just to feel good. Then we have like the eight of disc and with the eight of this dedication, as I said, like this person really wants you to feel like, like you're, you're just amazing. This person sees you as someone who is amazing. So I feel like this person wants to give you like everything. Um, so this person will put in the work. This person does realize that, you know, it takes work for someone to, um, stay happy, um, or that communication needs work that you need to communicate with each other. I feel like this person has, it's like good with words that this person likes to talk about their emotions, their feelings or what they're going through. So I feel like this person definitely know that communication is the key within a relationship and that this person will work like really hard to make it work for you guys. Um, and that that's going to pay off. You can see like all the moon faces. So I, feel like you guys will be like together for a long time because this this for me is just represents that you guys will both put in so much effort into this relationship and then we have the lovers and the lovers right here it shows me that you guys are you know you guys are like minded you guys feel the same for each other you guys are well balanced you guys are very you know very harmonious together um i feel this um you guys feel each other. You guys can relate to each other. You guys are, I don't know, you guys are so good with each other. You guys have like that chemistry. But I also feel like there is like such a fun side with you guys that you guys can enjoy the moments. Um, I feel that you guys will have like a lot of fun times with each other. Uh, so goofing around or stuff like that. Um, I feel this is like a person who you can truly laugh with. I mean like laugh that your cheeks will start to hurt from the laughter or something like that. I feel like you guys will have a really, really good time with each other. And I do feel because this, as I said, like this might be a person who's really good with words. So I feel like the jokes will just come off and I feel like you guys will have the same sense of humor. So that will be like very awesome with each other. Um, and I do feel like this, you guys will find each other very, very attractive. There's not like an imbalance there. Sometimes you feel like, you know, the guy or the girl finds each other like more attractive. I feel like this is going to be like a really balanced uh, relationship that you guys both will find each other like really sexy and fun and lovable and that you guys are also in a really good place just in your mind and in your soul. So that's like the perfect way to start a relationship. But you also have like the same values and that's like important if you want to build something that's like a uh, long lasting that you guys have the same values otherwise it's going to be like a lot of bickers and if you guys have like foundational different values that's going to cause like a lot of um a turmoil within a relationship or that can cause a lot of turmoil but i feel like you guys are very much like minded and i also see like maybe camping so this might also be like very specific keep that in mind but i feel like this might be like an adventurous type who likes to do maybe, you know, fun things, crafty things, things that are maybe out of the ordinary and that you like that about this person. It just keeps you like there. It just keeps you like going and you get like new sensation. I feel like you guys both need that within a relationship. So um, that's, that's going to be like awesome. 
And then we have the Princess of Disc right here. And I feel with the Princess of Disc, you both are very loyal and faithful people. Um, there's like no way that you guys will have any doubt about this relationship. I feel like once you guys will choose each other, and I do feel like you guys will at some point, I mean, maybe in the beginning, this will be more like a flirty thing. And then suddenly, or suddenly, I mean, the more it progresses, you guys will start to kind of like feel, okay, I want like more from this person. And it will be like, from both of you, it will be like simultaneously. You guys will feel that and I do believe maybe in the beginning, maybe it will start like a one I stand and then slowly it will like progress to something more and that will kind of like caught you both off guard. But then you're so ready for this, something like that or, you know, something happens like from a friendship and then who, you know, something kind of like change up or turns turns around. But I feel like once you guys decide to be exclusive, that that's it. Um, that you guys are both very loyal person um, and immediately Capricorn comes to my mind and Virgo, um, you know, earthy signs like Taurus, very, very loyal people, um, very down to earth. Like you guys will want that uh, foundation. You you guys are really into that commitment. I really want like a long term um, relationship. However, we have the Nine of Swords here and I do feel like one of you guys or maybe both of you guys will have this emotion of being like afraid that um maybe you know someone um might be having like someone else because as i said maybe in the beginning this will not start off like a relationship but then later on you will notice like you know you have like emotions for each other and then you're like okay but maybe he's seeing another person or maybe this person is with another person and i don't know if this person is like feeling the same however this person will feel the same but i do feel like you're both will deal with this type of fears like you know does this person like truly feel for me will have like the same emotions so i feel like a little bit of anxiety in the beginning uh once you guys notice that you guys are the feelings are growing like more deeply and that will be like on both sides but i feel like both of you will have that half uh, fright um fear let me put it fear of just you know being cautious like you know is this person can, can i move forward with this person does this person like feel the same for me or is this like a one night stand or is this like a fling for this person because this person is only kind of like being flirty and maybe you guys are both maybe waiting for the other party to say something um maybe we're just kind of like waiting on each other um but slowly i feel that you guys will start talking with each other about it or you guys will show more and as i said like once you make it kind of like official um that's like where this the nine of swords will stop once it's like official that's like the end of it okay that's like the end of it. And then we have the Prince of Wands. And with the Prince of Wands, I'm seeing passion. I'm seeing, you know, someone who is ready to move forward past the situation and moving forward maybe to settle down. So I feel maybe this has been, maybe this is like a person who's like a free bird, who was always like, you know, free of mind. And I don't know. And maybe you started off, you know, like friends or just like a fling or just you know flirting around or goofing around. And suddenly you're noticing that you have like much more deeper emotions. And then you're like, hooey, okay, what to do with this? And then I feel like both of you will grow into this, emotion and will very very much uh feel the same for each other and from then on guys you will be in a relationship so that's that's really beautiful so let's see what the other cards have this beautiful heart card so let's see what we have here we have if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to your soul so this means so listen to your intuition. So as I said, like, I feel like this relates to the nine of swords of having like that fear of, you know, falling in love for, um, with someone. I feel like that's it. I, I feel like you guys will both be afraid that you guys are falling in love, uh, with each other because 
you guys never planned it and then here it is you guys are like falling for each other and um you guys both will go like through this phase like oh my god you know i don't i don't want to because that's not like what i planned but then your heart is going to scream like yeah i really i really am falling in love i really am falling for this person um so it's going to be like very much to listen to your intuition um in this and allow your heart to sing okay so let's see what these beautiful cards are going to say look inside yourself again examine what is causing you to feel this way okay so very simple whenever you're feeling like this you know that anxiety was causing that and of course it might be the you know the scary situation that you don't know what another person is thinking about you the unknowing the not knowing what you know if the person feels the same that's also yeah you know huh i get that so much <laughs> you know but no rest assured that you guys are going to go both through this situation so that's like the funniest thing maybe of it you guys are feeling like the same but you guys are like both Oh, so scared of speaking out the truth the emotions that you will kind of like dance around each other for a little bit oh my god this is beautiful this this has to be like something showing showing your heart okay close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in okay so this all of these cards kind of like confirm that this is something that you guys didn't expect to happen. And then, ex then it happens and then you're left with these emotions huh, and how to deal with them, right? How to deal with them. And so all these cards are saying, listen to your intuition. Let it be your guidance. Trust that your heart is guiding you in the right direction and that you are so, so deserving of this uh love of this beautiful emotion right okay so then we have the card 25 first house the body the body right here so with the body i'm feeling that this person sees you as someone who is truly their how do you say it their example they really look up to you. They really want to see you shine and succeed in everything in your life. And that's going to be your relationship from then on. So aside from all like the beginning, you know, the fear of telling each other how you guys feel about each other, the relationship itself is going to be like a very beautiful relationship where you guys um, will cheer each other in every project that you guys do. I feel like you guys will be the rock for each other. You guys will stimulate each other, will grow with each other, will, um, oh, how do you say it? There are like so many good things coming up to my mind right now. Like this person really wants you to be your best self and you being around each other is going to allow your best self to come out. So with this person, you can be yourself, but you're also growing into your best self, your true authentic self. So I feel like that is your embodiment, you growing and you're moving forward. And I also feel like if there is any way that you're insecure about your body, there's no reason because this person is going to love you from the head to toe. This person is really, really, you know, fond of you. Okay, then we have seven, abundance, Jupiter. And with this, I feel, who I'm seeing here a Scorpio. I feel like it's bringing in the passion, but I also feel, you know, the world opening up to you guys. As you see on like the lightning, you know, something struck by lightning is something that shakes you to the core. So I feel like your relationship will change, will transform you guys in a way that you've never expected but i also feel jupiter being like the the gods one of the gods i feel like this is going to be like a really powerful and really profound relationship so whether it is like a relationship for a lifetime or not i feel like in a way this is going to change 
the way you think, the way both of you guys think or act forever. Because this is like a relationship that, you know, just hits few of us. It just hits few of us like lightning. It's just amazing if this happens. So I feel like this is a really powerful card that, that happened right here. Okay. And then we have the card of Gemini, I think, with the lovers. It's the same card as the lovers. <laughs> So with the Gemini, you're seeing it, it's beautiful. Man and woman right there is the card of, you know, friends becoming lover, lover becoming friends. It's like the perfect circle. That's like a sentence that I just, I just, I read in the book while studying these cards. Um, and it just like kept, kept just like there with me. Friends becoming lover and lover becoming friends. It's like the full circle. It's like when you guys know all the ins and outs of each other. It's like the perfect balance. And that's what I feel what you guys will get out of this relationship. So group number four, if this was your reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel because I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.